Hello, my dearly unbehaved. Today, I'm bringing you the very first holiday shopping guide. Gifts guaranteed to keep on giving long after they have stimulated the economy. We are gifting fishing lessons, not fish. Although I did gift fish last year. Lots and lots and lots of fish. I don't know, maybe you shouldn't be taking my advice. If you are new here, my name is Stevie Lynn and you have just stumbled upon my little unbehaved haven of the internet where we create freedom and joy through whimsy, humility, radical curiosity, and all the rationality that I can muster. And we also try to be very intentional about our choices. And that, my dear friend, is how we unbehave in a system that thrives on brokenness, fear, and retail therapy. <laughs> Everything that I'll be mentioning in this video will be listed in the description box below. And, and that includes affiliate links and discount codes. And I am an Amazon market partner, so I do get a very small commission, no cost to you. So let's start with number one. When I was little, when I was, I, I guess I was like 10, my dad bought a house and I don't know how this happened, but it must have been part of like the transaction. I got a dollhouse out of this and the dollhouse came from like the realtor or the, the seller. I'm not sure, but it was this big, fabulous dollhouse. It was beautiful. And my dad collected oriental rugs as well as French impressionist paintings. So I had this beautiful dollhouse, no dolls, just an empty dollhouse that I was free to decorate however I wanted. So me and my dad used to go to this really cool store. It had nothing but miniature things. And we picked out all these little beds, little brass beds, little oriental rugs, just like what we had in our house. And there were even French impressionist paintings with like gilded frames. Oh, it was so cute. And little linens for my beds and a little stove. I mean, curtains, everything. I just created this, my own little world in this house. I loved it. I have the fondest memories of it. So when I came across a YouTube channel where this woman was creating a book nook, my mind was blown. <laughs> Do you know what a book nook is? Oh my gosh. Let me tell you. <laughs> do you remember dioramas? Like you, we do it for like maybe a social studies assignment. You would, you know, create like this little scene, a little like Smithsonian exhibit in a shoebox. Book nooks are basically dioramas that fit in between your books on your bookcases, or they could be like bookends, or you could have them like a diorama where it's stacked horizontally and they have little scenes that are lit up and this woman was making hers completely from scratch like she was doing the floors the wallpaper wiring her own lighting i mean it was really incredible so that is one thing you can do you could actually go on youtube and make your own or you can go on amazon amazon has Some book nooks which, and the book nooks are lit up and, and they're they're really cute i asked for one for christmas too i asked. i asked for one that has a little cobbled stone street scene but i'm also really looking forward to making my own and i want to make one that is inspired by Emily Dickinson's bedroom because I really like Emily Dickinson and I just, I think it would be so, so sweet and it's such a great way 
to to give someone something that is really personal and and it creates like a great mood it's, a, it's stress relief too like to, to make them or to have them because you could just just go into the world of your book nook there's a ton of options on amazon i'm just going to leave a few options down below for all different ages they could be $20 or they can be up to $200. At least that's the most expensive that I've seen. Think of when you build a model ship or a model plane. It's that level. It's like that level. <laughs> it's, it's pretty detailed. I think a book nook is just, I don't know, maybe I'm weird, but I think it's very cute. Another great gift for someone special in your life would be a hula hoop. <laughs> this is my hula hoop. So I decided to buy my first dance hoop from Stirs, which is a hula hoop company. And they have like everything you can imagine. Every kind of hoop, weighted hoops, dance hoops, festival hoops, LED lighted hoops. They have other flow Thing, taunt, you know, like for raves and festivals. I mean, I'm not, I'm not like super great at it. I just have fun. This is a really, really cool gift. But here are some of the reasons why hula hooping is so great physical fitness and mobility. That's a no-brainer. Another re reason why I really love hula hooping is that I'm not really good at keeping a, like a regular exercise routine, but I am really good at maintaining a regular play routine. <laughs> so hula hooping has really been a great way for me to, to cloak my exercise as play. <laughs> hula hooping is good on so many levels. I wrote them down. So, physical fitness and mobility. Well, that's obvious because you're moving around and you really do lose a sense of time. So, so it's easy to plan to go out and, and hula hoop for like a half an hour and before you know it, you've been doing it for an hour. It challenges you. So you need the right size hoop in order to, to get it up for the first time. Target hoops won't work. They're too small. They're created for 45 pound people that are under five feet. They're under four feet, actually. You need a hoop that comes up to about your belly button, has, you know, good weight to it. And if you have a hoop like that, you'll be getting it up in no time. And then once you get going, it will take a while before you become more graceful, before you can move your arms in a certain way, before you can dance within it, before you kind of get into your flow. It's challenging in that way because you, you grow. You know, you, you have to continue to do it to get better. And then there are also tricks, off-body tricks, and learning to hoop around your chest or your knees. There's no end to the skill building in terms of hula hooping. So it can be extremely challenging, which is really good for our brains. Especially if you're getting older like me. You get that mind-body-earth connection, like yoga. You just do. <laughs> I'm not even sure what that is. It connects you to a simpler time. It's meditative. I like to go out at night and just hula hoop and amongst the stars. And it helps you get into that flow state. You also tap into your creativity. I really think that a hula hoop is an incredible gift to give someone. And you can go to spinsters.com. But I reached out to them to see if I could get a discount code for you guys. And they very graciously gave me a discount code. It's in the description box. And I don't know, just... Go check out their site because it's really cool and I know that there's just someone in your life who, who needs a hula hoop. <laughs> so another great present, especially for those glamour pusses in your life. Say like glamour puss. <laughs> but for those glamorous people in your life who always like to have their nails done, who are always going to the salon and like dropping like, what is it, 40 bucks just to get their gel nails done. Uh, here's a gift that keeps on giving. It's a gel nail kit. Actually, I'll, I'll post a picture 
from Amazon. Um, Beatles, which is what these nail polishes are, Beatles has a full-on kit. It has a UV light, UV LED light, and then several different nail colors. And then within the kit, it has like nail oil, nail files, and like all the things that you need to do your own gel nails. And I, I do them myself. In fact, I'm about to do them and I'll show you how, how they turn out. But it's really easy. It's, I, I do it all the time. What's nice is that you don't have to wait for your nails to dry. So this kit is only $30 and there's other kits like them, but I have tried the Beatles and I like the way they work. So I think the person in your life is to have cool nails, this would be a really good gift for. And, I'm gonna, and it's so cheap. Stir the gel polish with a cap brush before use. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> maybe that would help. So maybe I need to, I shake them, but maybe I should start stirring them. This was like a $20 kit and it included my top coat, my base coat, which the kit that the link that I'm giving you will ha has all that. A, a matte top coat. So you have a shiny top coat and a matte top coat and then all the other stuff that you need plus the UV light. <laughs> touch him, touch him. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so cool. It's the gift of experience or adventures. The gift that I really like is like a park pass, maybe a national park pass. I really, really love going to the lake here. But it costs a couple dollars to go every time. But if you give someone the gift of a pass to one of their favorite nature places, that, that, I'm sure that would be incredibly appreciated. Another thing is a, a museum membership. It supports a museum, first of all. But then it also gives them usually free access to the museum and a discounted access to really special events like we went saw the Frida Kahlo exhibit here in Raleigh for I, I think we saw it for free my brother and sister-in-law gave us that gift a couple of years ago when we first moved to North Carolina it was such a great gift and it it also really made me feel seen because um because I love art and it's just nice to be notice for who you are so giving someone a gift that actually makes them feel seen is really sweet just quirky little things that you can do like me and my friend are going to do mushroom farming classes we're gonna learn how to I don't know like grow mushrooms like that's a fun thing that the person who you're gifting might not even think about so what you're really gifting them is the unexpected experience Here's a gift that I would absolutely love, and this would be a great gift for that person in your life who likes to cut their own hair. Do you know Jane Jane Matthews? She's a celebrity hairstylist, and she cuts hair in a very unique way. It's, it's, it's her way with razor cutting, and her cuts are custom designed. They, they, they work with, with your facial features, and the shape of your head, and the texture of your hair. And she uses this method where she takes a razor and she carves petals. Um, so she does this really unique hair cutting style and she has classes. And I don't think they're too expensive given what, you, what you're getting. You're getting to learn how to cut hair like she cuts hair and she is a celebrity stylist in the Bay Area and I think in LA. And she's also on Instagram. That's where I discovered her. I discovered her when I was living in Oakland and she had an Oakland salon. I think she single-handedly ushered in like the whole shag look. She was doing all kinds of shags and French bobs, all razor cut. The cool girl aesthetic at any age. So she has these classes. She teaches you everything that you need to know about cutting your own hair. She's got like bang classes, like for that person in your life who's always cutting their bangs or like complete haircuts. It, she, it, she was very nice to give me a discount code as well. So I will leave the description below and you can peruse her classes. And I, I think that I would love to have that gift. And while you're giving that gift, <laughs> you might also want to get them a, a razor. Jane, Jane might actually sell razors. I don't know, I'll, I'll check on that. And if she does, I will put a link for the razor that she recommends. And 
I always get major compliments on my headbands, these velvet headbands. And people want to know where I buy them. I, I just get compliments all the time. And they're so soft. I mean, they really like, I call them like a Snuggie for the head. And they're, they're quite luxurious. I think they're very luxurious. Aren't they so cute? Gosh, I might wear it today. It's a little chilly outside. But I get this from a company called Pink Pewter. It's a, a hair accessory company. I think it's around $19. It's a turban. It's called a velvet. I think it's a velvet turban on their website. And I'll put the link down below. I don't have a just I don't think I have a discount code. I think I I actually think I applied to be an affiliate for them a long time ago, but I can't find that information. This shade, this is called pistachio. And I can't remember what this is called. It might just be gray, but it's kind of silver. And then they had another color. It's actually kind of like the color of my dress. Somewhere between copper, red, and yellow. <laughs> I don't know. Really, really love these. So I've been on a quest for a very long time to make my log cabin smell cozy, homey, um, without spending a lot of money. So I've gone through tons of candles and I don't really like that chemical smell. I like a luxurious smell. So I'm always looking for ways to scent my house, make it feel more cozy and homey. And I like to have this all the time, not just when guests are here. I want to have that always because candles, you know, at $20 a pop can be really expensive. It's just not sustainable for us. But I discovered these wick candle Wick candles. This is one of my favorites. It's autumn leaves. They're wax melts. But these are the, these are, I've tried a whole bunch of wax melts and these are my favorite. They have a wonderful throw. They don't smell chemical, chemically, chemical. They don't, you know, autumn leaves is great. It just smells like fall. It smells, it's like spicy, maybe a little apple -y. I'm not sure what's in it, but I love it. I'm, I'm melting this one right now. Bruce, blue spruce. And I've been melting Christmas tree, which is perfect. I have a fake tree back there. So getting that pine scent into the air makes it feel like I have a real tree. I think they're about $8 for, you know, you get six little bars in there. Each bar is guaranteed to last 15 hours. So I get about two days. Two days of burning. Because I, I turn it off at night, but I get about two days of burning for each wax melt. I really love the blue spruce, the Christmas tree, autumn leaves. I love Nag Champa. Nag Champa is great. If you want that hippy dippy boho scent in your house, but you don't want the smell that makes you cough and makes your, you know, sneeze and makes your nose all tickly. Nog Champa, the Nog Champa Wax Melt by Wick Cabin is so good. It smells just like the incense, but none of the smoke. Christmas cookie. Oh, so good. Okay, lavender is not really my favorite. Banana nut. Bamboo. Fresh bamboo. Surprisingly, so good. It's very fresh. I didn't know that bamboo had a scent, but I don't know. It just, it's, it's really good. I think I've given you a lot of ideas. I'm always coming up with new ideas. If you would like a sequel to this video where I give even more ideas, um, let me know in the comments below. I'm doing a couple videos, but the one that I'm working on right now, that I'm scripting right now, is about the history of toxic masculinity. When I first decide I'm going to do a video on a subject, I start with a question. Like it's kind of like a hypothesis, and then I do my research to answer that question. And a lot of times, when I start, I have this idea what the video is going to be about. But when I do the research, I learn something. I learn maybe my presumptions were incorrect. So this is one of those videos. Interesting to, if you're curious about that, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button. And if you hit that bell button, you'll be notified when my next video comes out because like I'm not very consistent right now and if you like this video that really helps the algorithm pick me up and show me to other people and even more than that it encourages me so much um, and leave a comment that I love your thoughts I love your input right. so happy holiday shopping and um, 
Yeah, I think that's it. I'm so sad to say goodbye. 